see if we've got a good vessel here before I start. Starting out of plane with the depth at the minimum, bringing up a little bit. Um, so I'm just scanning to look for a vein, and as we can see, we have a, some huge vessels in the center here. It's important to try to make sure the vessel you choose runs straight. So you can see there's one up here. I'm just going to increase the gain a little bit, which looks pretty good to me. I'm now going to turn the, the probe 90 degrees and see if I can find it in one instance. So if you just have a look at what my hand's doing on the, on the screen here, to do this technique it's really critical to hold the probe very stable and very light. So I'm holding really low on the probe, I'm resting my hand on the patient's arm and I'm going to just really pretty much hover the probe on the skin, barely touching, moving in one axis at a time, so side to side. And you can see on the screen, now you see that that structure in the, in the top of the string with the very clear dark lumen and nicely defined edges. That's what the vein needs to look like. I can tell it's a vein because I can compress it. Um, so it needs to look like that with a really dark centre, not like this where you're looking at the walls of the vessel. Like that. Okay, so I'm confident that's a good, a good target. 